Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of my home into your home. And if you would like to subscribe, please do so. All you've got to do is click on the bell icon and it will give you the option to personalise and you can either have all if you want to hear from me. Sometimes I do a lot and sometimes I don't do any. So it all depends really whether or not you want to... Um, get a lot of videos or if you don't mind getting a lot of videos that's basically what I mean um, but you can like and share otherwise um, and for those of you who have already subscribed thank you and thank you for your support um, today it was about that a lot of hype about that young lady on Good Morning Britain who was talking about people over 70 should not vote I think about my mum any time I hear people saying that. I think about my mum and how politically active she is and how active she is generally. And I think um, that lady is doing um, the older people a disservice. Um, I thought it was her name. Her name was... What was her name again? Joanna. Jarju, and she was on the um, Good Morning with uh, Boris Johnson's brother, I believe. Oh, jo Boris Johnson's dad, Stanley Johnson. And apparently, she was saying that um, oh, they that it was easier in in their day. They didn't have to work hard to get a home, and they didn't. I mean, to be honest, they haven't got a clue. If anything, it was harder back then. Okay, so you have technology, which means that things are easier now. But back then, everything was done by hand. You was walking miles. You were sewing by hand. You didn't have all these machines and stuff. So I don't know where she gets off talking about, you know, we, they had it easier. Or the elderly had it easier. They didn't have it easier. So what she's claiming is that a lot of them are saying, oh, I went through the war, uh, the Second World War. It doesn't really matter. I don't care what happens to Brexit. They might say that, but eventually they actually do care. And so because they say that, they, that doesn't mean you take it literally. And how many of them say that anyway? 70 is still relatively young by today's standards. So I don't know why she felt that she needed to go on television and now she's being targeted, silly lady, as, you know, they're really giving her a hard time. So they've already extended the pension age. They're already talking about um, stopping the bus passes. They're already talking about kicking them out of their beds and letting them be treated at home. I mean, short of, you know, kicking them over the edge of a cliff, they might as well say, you're a load of worthless people. We don't, you've, you've done your bit. We don't need you anymore. Because really, that is the message. You know, these people have done a hell of a lot for the country. Some of them, like she said, have fought in wars. They built the country, the elderly. And they're the ones that put the money in the pension pot. I know a lot of the young people feel as though they're not going to benefit, but they still put in. And so they are entitled. A lot of them have their homes paid off for. And you know the sad thing is, is that when they've paid off for their homes, some of their children can't wait for them to go into a home so they can get the house, sell it off. And all that hard work that those elderly people have put in the houses, they, it doesn't mean anything to the young people. They just see it as a, a money ticket. They don't care whether or not the parents or their grandparents go into a home as long as they can reap the benefit. And a lot of them, it's not even like they live in the house so that they can, you know, they've got the sense to live in the house. It's mortgage free. You can benefit from that, save some money and you know live a comfortable life oh no they don't want to do that they see the house oh yeah we'll sell it we'll get some money we'll probably buy a, a smaller house buy a smaller house they take out a mortgage they don't buy it mortgage free they take out a mortgage they they squander the the, the proceeds of sale and then they, they, they're no better off a couple of years down the line they're broke 
and nothing to show for their grandparents' hard labour. Nothing. Every day those parents have been working off, paying off for that mortgage so they can live comfortably. And they, they want their children or their grandchildren to inherit it. And a lot of these, grand, these grandchildren, they do not appreciate it. They do not appreciate the work, the hard work that the elderly have put in. So now they think they can discard them. Viewers of Good Morning Britain took to social media after a debate between former apprentice contestant Joanna Jarju and Prime Minister Boris Johnson's dad, Stanley. Joanna, 23, argued that the voting age should be cut off at 70. She was branded a disgrace by viewers, but she represents the views of many young people who have no concept of the agility and how politically active the elderly are these days. GMB co-host Susanna Reid began the debate by saying that Joanna's argument that the voting age should be cut off at 70 was literally ageist. And you know that I'm so glad that that lady who was 89 won her case against ageism when they tried to kick her out of the job. She won an award. 89. Joanna, who appeared on Series 13 of The Apprentice, then said, I think there's a fine line. We know there's a generational divide in terms of those who voted leave and those who voted to remain predominantly. I think that with older people, the argument that I usually hear is we've gone through two world wars. We can survive whatever happens next with Brexit. Yeah, they can survive it, but it doesn't mean they don't want to say in it. They just mean they can survive the outcome. She could be right in that Brexit is nothing compared to the challenging lives that they have lived, but she worded it wrong. She should have simply said that some elderly people are frustrated with what's going on and it and it is consequential to them. The representing she's representing the snowflake generation. I think for me, and this is what Joanna's saying, I think for me and for people in my generation, when we're thinking about buying a house all the things that are harder for us that were a little bit easier in your generation Stanley I think for a lot of older people and pensioners you've been through a period where it was cheaper for you to buy houses your wages were better what is what planet is she on cheaper to buy houses it wasn't cheaper it might seem cheap to her but the you know they, they used to earn about two pounds for the week so it's the equivalent of now. I don't think they get it. It's like my mum, I think she said her house, I think, how much did she say she paid it? Might have been about 11,700 or something. I can't remember, but it was, when you think about that, yeah, you're going to think, oh yeah, it's cheap. But how much was she earning? Two pounds a week, one pound fifty a week? And out of that, she would have had to pay goodness knows how much to water mortgage and buy shopping. It's just as bloody difficult. And what wages are better? I mean, it really is annoying when they make state frivolous statements like that that have no validity and she hasn't got a clue. Basically, she hasn't got a clue. Stanley, who is 79, argued back by saying that the older generation can be held responsible for the decisions they made. It's up to the older generation to man up. They don't even have to man up. They've manned up all their lives. If they man up now, who's going to listen to them? Anyway, she's been trolled on Twitter. It's just so annoying. Really annoying. Anyway, let me have your comments. That's all for now. Bye-bye.